Hey guys, it's Amanda and I'm back with another back to school video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of hacks to help you guys stay organized for the school year. The first DIY is this whiteboard calendar which will help you guys keep on top of things. So all you'll need is a picture frame and what you're going to do is take the back off of the frame and then you're going to print out some printable calendars which you can find anywhere. I'll link the ones that I used in the description bar below. Anyways, you're going to put the calendar that you want to use in the frame and I also put the white backing over top of it so that the frame would look white. And then all you have to do is close up the frame. When you're done, you can just use any dry erase marker and write on top of the glass. And yeah, it's erasable and you can switch it out depending on the month. And I think it's just a really cool way for you to visualize your month. Give me my daily dose of your coca tree. The next DIY is this corkboard organizer with these little shelves. So what you'll need for this project is a cork tile which you can find at the dollar store and empty tape rolls. So the first step is to paint your tape rolls whatever color you want. I just did a multitude of colors and don't forget to get the edges as well as the inside of the tape roll. When your tape rolls are completely dry, hot glue them to the cork tile in any formation that you want. And that's it! Now you have this little organizing station where you can throw all those things that are sort of lying around your room. And you can also pin up little notes on the actual corkboard part. I don't know about you guys, but I have a bunch of different pens and pencils. So this DIY will help you separate them out and sort of organize them in a more neat way. You'll need a box. Any box will do, but I used this shoe box. And since it was ugly, I covered it with this holographic um, adhesive paper that I found at the dollar store. Next, you're going to cut toilet paper rolls or wrapping paper rolls into the height of the box. And you can use as many as you want. But since I had a lot of pens and pencils, I cut out a lot and I sort of filled three quarters of the box. And yeah, now you have this sort of school supply station with little shelves or dividers for each kind of pen or pencil. And as someone with self-diagnosed OCD, I found this DIY very satisfying and I'm really happy with it because everything's in one place but it's still organized. You guys know I'm obsessed with my planner, so I'm going to show you guys my personal planner secret that I like to use to stay organized. So all you'll need for this DIY are sticky notes. The first kind we're using are these translucent ones which I found at the dollar store and I love them. So what I'm doing is cutting them out to the size of the square on my agenda. So I can sort of use it to block out a day and write out what I have to do on that day. So for example, a math exam. And the good thing about it is that you can move it since it's just a sticky note. And since it's translucent, you can still see anything that's written underneath it. Next, I also like to cut out little flags out of my sticky notes, which is my favorite thing to do because it looks really cute in your agenda. This wasn't really a DIY, but I just wanted to show you guys how I like to organize my agenda because hopefully it'll help you guys out as well. Anyways, that's the end of this video. If you guys liked it, be sure to click thumbs up. I also have an entire playlist of every single back to school video I've ever made, so if you guys want to watch more, click the little eye in the top right corner and it'll take you right to the playlist. It'll also be linked down below. I hope you guys have an awesome, beautiful day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!